Welcome to Garden Bound. In today's video, we're exploring the crucial topic of soil pH and how to adjust it naturally for a healthier, more productive garden. Understanding soil pH is fundamental for any gardener because it directly influences the availability of nutrients to your plants and, consequently, their overall health and growth. Soil pH can make the difference between a thriving garden and one where plants struggle to survive. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know about soil pH, what it is, why it matters, how to test it, and natural methods to adjust it. By the end of this guide, you'll have the knowledge and tools to ensure your soil pH is optimal for the plants you want to grow, helping you create a flourishing and bountiful garden. Let's dive in and get started. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Testing your soil pH regularly and understanding its implications can significantly improve your gardening success. Soil pH is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of your soil, and it plays a vital role in gardening and plant health. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. Soils with a pH below 7 are considered acidic, while those with a pH above 7 are alkaline. Most garden plants thrive in slightly acidic to neutral soils, typically within a pH range of 6 to 7. Soil pH affects the chemical form of nutrients, influencing their availability to plants. For example, in highly acidic soils, pH below 5.5, essential nutrients like phosphorus, calcium, and magnesium become less available, while toxic elements like aluminum and manganese can become more soluble, potentially harming plant roots. Conversely, in alkaline soils, pH above 7.5, nutrients such as iron, manganese, and phosphorus become less available, leading to deficiencies. Understanding soil pH is essential for diagnosing and correcting nutrient deficiencies in your garden. For instance, if your blueberries, which prefer acidic soil, are showing yellow leaves with green veins, a symptom of iron deficiency, it might indicate that your soil pH is too high. On the other hand, if your lettuce, which thrives in neutral to slightly alkaline soil, exhibits stunted growth and purplish leaves, a sign of phosphorus deficiency, your soil might be too acidic. Adjusting the soil pH can help mitigate these issues, ensuring that your plants have access to the nutrients they need to grow and thrive. Soil pH is a critical factor in gardening because it directly impacts nutrient availability and overall plant health. When soil pH is outside the optimal range for a specific plant, it can lead to nutrient deficiencies or toxicities, affecting the plant's growth and productivity. For example, in acidic soils with a pH below 5.5, nutrients such as phosphorus, calcium, and magnesium become less available to plants. This can lead to symptoms like stunted growth, poor root development, and discolored leaves. Additionally, acidic conditions can increase the solubility of harmful elements like aluminum and manganese, which can be toxic to plants, causing root damage and interfering with nutrient uptake. Conversely, in alkaline soils with a pH above 7.5, nutrients like iron, manganese, and phosphorus become less available. Plants growing in these conditions may exhibit symptoms such as chlorosis, yellowing of leaves, poor growth, and reduced flowering or fruiting. For instance, iron deficiency is common in alkaline soils and manifests as yellow leaves with green veins, a condition known as interventional chlorosis. Crops like azaleas, rhododendrons, and blueberries, which prefer acidic soils, will struggle in alkaline conditions, showing poor growth and nutrient deficiencies. Regularly testing your soil pH helps you identify potential problems before they become severe. Various methods can be used to test soil pH, including pH test kits, pH meters, and professional lab testing. Home pH test kits are convenient and affordable, typically consisting of test strips or a colorimetric solution that changes color based on the pH of the soil sample. For more accurate results, pH meters can be used, providing a digital reading of the soil's pH level. For the most precise measurement, you can send a soil sample to a laboratory where it will be analyzed using sophisticated equipment. Testing your soil pH is a crucial step in understanding your garden's health and making informed decisions about how to improve it. There are several methods available for testing soil pH, each with varying degrees of accuracy and convenience. Home pH test kits are a popular choice among gardeners because they are affordable and easy to use. 
These kits typically include test strips or a liquid solution that changes color when mixed with a soil sample, indicating the pH level. To use a test kit, collect a soil sample from several spots in your garden, mix it with water, and then dip the test strip or add the solution. The color change can be compared to a pH scale chart provided with the kit, giving you a rough estimate of your soil's pH. For more precise measurements, a digital pH meter is an excellent tool. These meters provide an instant digital readout of the soil pH and are more accurate than test kits. To use a pH meter, insert the probe into the soil and wait for the reading to stabilize. It's important to clean the probe between tests to ensure accurate results. Digital pH meters are a bit more expensive than test kits, but are a worthwhile investment for serious gardeners. If you need highly accurate and detailed information about your soil's pH and nutrient content, consider sending a soil sample to a professional laboratory. Soil testing labs use advanced techniques to measure pH and provide a comprehensive analysis of your soil's nutrient levels, texture, and organic matter content. This information is invaluable for creating a tailored soil management plan. To collect a sample for lab testing, take soil from several locations in your garden, mix them together, and send a portion to the lab in a clean, labeled container. Interpreting the results of your soil pH test is the next step. A pH reading of 7.0 is neutral, while readings below 7.0 indicate acidic soil and readings above 7.0 indicate alkaline soil. Most garden plants thrive in slightly acidic to neutral soil, with a pH range of 6.0 to 7.0. For example, vegetables like tomatoes and carrots prefer a pH of around 6.5, while blueberries and azaleas, which thrive in acidic conditions, prefer a pH of 4.5 to 5.5. Conversely, plants like lavender and asparagus do well in slightly alkaline soil, with a pH of 7.0 to 8.0. Regularly testing your soil pH and understanding the results allow you to make informed decisions about how to amend your soil to provide the best growing conditions for your plants. Whether you're using a home test kit, a digital pH meter, or professional lab services, testing your soil pH is a foundational practice for successful gardening. Adjusting soil pH naturally involves various methods that can help you create the ideal growing conditions for your plants without relying on synthetic chemicals. If you need to lower the soil pH and make it more acidic, several organic materials can be used. Compost is a fantastic option. As it breaks down, it naturally acidifies the soil while adding valuable nutrients and improving soil structure. Pine needles are another excellent choice, especially for acid-loving plants like blueberries and azaleas. When used as mulch, pine needles slowly decompose and lower the soil pH. Peat moss is also effective. Mixing it into the soil can significantly increase acidity, though it's often best used in combination with other organic materials due to its environmental impact. Sulfur is a commonly used natural amendment to lower soil pH. It works by converting to sulfuric acid in the soil, a process facilitated by soil bacteria. Applying elemental sulfur to the soil can gradually lower pH over several months. For example, adding 1 to 2 pounds of sulfur per 100 square feet can reduce the pH of sandy soil by one point. Coffee grounds, rich in nitrogen, can also help acidify the soil. They are best used in moderation, mixed with other organic matter to avoid nitrogen overload. On the other hand, if you need to raise the soil pH and make it more alkaline, several natural materials are available. Lime is the most common amendment for this purpose. Dolomitic lime, which contains calcium and magnesium and agricultural lime, which is primarily calcium carbonate, are both effective at raising soil pH. The amount of lime needed depends on the current pH and soil type. For example, it typically takes about five pounds of lime per 100 square feet to raise the pH of sandy soil by one point. Wood ash is another excellent amendment for increasing soil pH. It contains calcium carbonate, similar to lime, and can quickly neutralize acidic soils. However, it's essential to use wood ash sparingly as too much can raise the pH too high and potentially harm plants. A general recommendation is to apply no more than 10, 15 pounds of wood ash per 1,000 square feet of garden soil annually. Eggshells, composed primarily of calcium carbonate, can also be used to raise soil pH. Crushing and incorporating them into the soil can gradually increase alkalinity while adding calcium, which is beneficial for plant health 
Maintaining optimal soil pH is a continuous process that involves regular testing and strategic adjustments to ensure your garden remains fertile and productive. Regularly testing your soil pH is crucial because soil pH can change over time due to factors like rainfall, the type of plants grown, and the application of fertilizers. Aim to test your soil pH at least once a year, preferably in the spring before planting. Use a reliable pH test kit or digital pH meter to get accurate readings and adjust your soil management practices based on the results. To maintain a balanced soil pH, incorporating organic matter is essential. Organic matter, such as compost, well-rotted manure, and organic mulches helps buffer soil pH, preventing drastic changes and maintaining a stable environment for plants. For example, adding compost to your garden soil not only enriches it with nutrients, but also helps maintain a pH level conducive to plant growth. Compost has a neutral pH and acts as a natural pH buffer making it beneficial for both acidic and alkaline soils. Mulching is another effective strategy for maintaining soil pH. Organic mulches like straw, leaves, and grass clippings decompose over time, gradually releasing nutrients and organic acids into the soil. This slow release helps stabilize soil pH, preventing sudden shifts that can harm plants. For instance, mulching with leaves not only improves soil moisture retention, but also adds organic acids as the leaves break down, subtly lowering the pH of alkaline soils. Using crop rotation and cover crops can also help manage soil pH. Different plants absorb and release various nutrients, influencing soil chemistry. Rotating crops with different pH preferences can help balance soil pH over time. Additionally, planting cover crops like clover, alfalfa, or rye can improve soil structure, add organic matter, and help stabilize pH levels. These plants fix nitrogen and add organic matter to the soil when tilled under, creating a more balanced and fertile environment. Avoiding overuse of chemical fertilizers is important for maintaining soil pH. Chemical fertilizers, especially those high in nitrogen, can acidify the soil over time. Instead, use organic fertilizers like compost, bone meal, or fish emulsion, which are less likely to cause drastic pH changes. For example, fish emulsion provides a gentle nutrient boost without significantly altering soil pH. Regularly, monitoring and adjusting your soil pH ensures that your garden remains a hospitable environment for plant growth. By incorporating organic matter, mulching, practicing crop rotation, and using organic fertilizers, you can maintain a balanced soil pH that supports healthy, productive plants. This proactive approach to soil management helps prevent nutrient deficiencies and toxicities, leading to a more resilient and thriving garden. In addition to testing your soil's pH, NPK testing is an essential aspect of soil analysis that measures the levels of three critical macronutrients, nitrogen, AN, phosphorus, P, and potassium, nor K. These nutrients play vital roles in plant growth and development. Nitrogen is crucial for leafy growth, and is a key component of chlorophyll, which plants use in photosynthesis. Phosphorus is important for root development, flower and fruit production, and overall plant energy transfer. Potassium helps with water regulation, disease resistance, and overall plant vigor. Ensuring balanced levels of these nutrients in your soil is crucial for maintaining a healthy and productive garden. To perform an NPK test, you can use a home soil test kit or send a soil sample to a professional laboratory. Home test kits are convenient and provide a quick way to assess the nutrient levels in your garden soil. These kits typically include test tubes, reagents, and color charts. To use the kit, collect soil samples from different areas of your garden, mix them together to create a composite sample, and follow the kit instructions. Typically, you'll add soil to a test tube, add a reagent, shake the mixture, and compare the color change to a chart to determine the nutrient levels. A professional soil test provides more detailed and accurate results. To send a sample to a lab, collect soil from several spots in your garden, mix it thoroughly, and place a portion in a clean container. Labs use advanced techniques, such as spectrometry, to analyze the soil's nutrient content. The results will include precise levels of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium along with recommendations for amendments based on your specific gardening goals. Interpreting NPK test results is crucial for making informed soil management decisions. 
For example, if your soil test indicates low nitrogen levels, you might observe poor plant growth, yellowing leaves, and reduced vigor. To address this, you can add nitrogen-rich amendments such as compost, manure, or blood meal. For phosphorus deficiency, characterized by stunted growth and poor root development, bone meal, rock phosphate, or fishbone meal can be added to the soil. Potassium deficiency, which can cause weak stems, leaf scorch, and poor resistance to disease, can be remedied by adding potash, wood ash, or kelp meal. Balanced NPK levels vary depending on the types of plants you are growing. For instance, leafy greens like lettuce and spinach require higher nitrogen levels, while root crops like carrots and potatoes benefit from higher phosphorus. Fruit-bearing plants such as tomatoes and peppers thrive with balanced nitrogen and higher potassium levels to support fruit development. Remember, maintaining balanced soil, pH, and nutrient levels is key to promoting healthy growth, preventing nutrient deficiencies, and maximizing your garden's productivity. Whether you're using compost, lime, pine needles, or other organic amendments, these natural methods will help you create a thriving and sustainable garden. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Garden Bound for more gardening tips and inspiration, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your experiences and questions in the comments below. What challenges have you faced with the soil pH or nutrient levels, and how did you overcome them? Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy gardening.